Let's talk about braid maintenance today. Right now, as I'm filming this video, it is about one week since I've had these braids, or one week and one day. By the time you see this, it will have been a little bit longer, but for all intensive purposes, right now, as we're talking, it's been one week, and I'm still so in love with my braids. So I'm happy to officially report that this whole braid experience was 10,000% better than my initial box braid experience, which you guys would have heard in my last video. If you actually haven't watched my most recent video, like before this one, I definitely suggest you actually go and watch that first and then come back and watch this. It's kind of like a little bit of a, my braids journey experience series, if you will. So if you haven't watched that, just make sure to just go watch that first. But yes, I'm loving it. I'm healing these braids and they are super super comfortable with this being now one week with braids of course my scalp has gotten a little bit itchy so I figured some things out though and I've got a little routine down pat my scalp feels perfectly fine I'm not itching it like crazy anymore and yeah so I'm just really excited to share with you guys the products that I'm using right now to maintain my braids as well as some accessories you know like for sleeping showering working out like these accessories have been so perfect, honestly. And then I also wanted to get a little bit more in depth about protective styling itself. So we'll go over the pros and cons in my opinion. And that way you guys will be able to figure out if protective styling may be something that is actually right for you. So we're gonna get into all of it today. Let's go ahead and get started. So let me first start by sharing with you guys exactly what I'm doing with my scalp because I feel like this has been game changer. So first things first, when it comes to your scalp, you gotta know your scalp. Is your scalp oily or is it dry? Because it can be itchy when it's oily and can also be itchy when it's dry. Or do you just have a normal scalp that is not necessarily oily or not necessarily dry? That is the category that I'm in. I'm learning this now through my entire little protective style experience. I have a normal scalp. It's not on the oily side, not on the dry side. So I'm basically trying to maintain a happy medium for my scalp. And so I know the tendency, when you think of natural hair and you think of protective styling, like the first thing you're gonna think of, oh my scalp itches, let me oil it. But one of my biggest things was that I was trying to continue to avoid buildup on my scalp. If you guys saw my last video, that was like the theme of the entire video is like get rid of buildup. And now I'm still trying to make sure that we're keeping buildup away. I did a little bit of research, right? And the thing for me is I, I'm not gonna be washing this like how you would normally wash hair. I would say if you're gonna leave your protective style in over a month, then maybe at that month mark, you go in and do like an actual wash with your braids the same way you would with your natural hair. Go in with your scalp shampoo and do that whole process. I already know I'm not keeping these in longer than a month. I'm aiming for about the three week mark or so. So I already know that that's not something I'm gonna be doing and I'm so glad. That was one of my favorite things. I actually was saying goodbye to wash days, okay? So I wanted to find an alternative way of making sure that I'm still gonna be able to clean my scalp though because that's really, really important to me. Like we don't do builds up over here. All right, so in doing research and in like searching in my entire product stash, the best thing that I have come up with is a little like homemade concoction. All you're gonna need for this is some witch hazel, tea tree oil, and a spray bottle and that is literally it. This is what I have been spraying on my scalp, this little mixture for just a really, really nice, lightweight, but effective cleanse. In terms of witch hazel, it's very, very important that you find one that is alcohol free. And then if you can find one that has like aloe or like rose in it, which is exactly what I've got here, it, it's like perfect. So it's gonna, the witch hazel is gonna give that really nice cleanse. It's gonna remove some of that buildup, but then the aloe is actually going to add like a calming and nourishing moisturizing effect for your scalp as well. So this is really great. I picked this up on Amazon. Y'all know the deal. Everything I mentioned here will be linked below. So if you wanna check out this exact one, which I definitely 10 on 10 recommend, then it will be down in the description box for you to check out. But yeah, so it's alcohol free, paraben free, flatate free, gluten free. It's also cruelty free honey. Like this is a really, really great witch hazel. 
So basically I just take the witch hazel and I pour it into my spray bottle and then I go in with a couple drops of tea tree essential oil. So this oil I did pick up from Amazon as well. Tea tree oil specifically is really, really great. It does have antiseptic properties, so it will help you to avoid any like bacterial issues that might be happening on your scalp. And then it's also very soothing for the scalp as well. So it makes like for a really great mixture with the witch hazel. So you're basically cleansing and soothing your scalp all in one step. I love the fact that it's liquid. You could just literally spray it on quickly to your scalp. My spray bottle is a mist spray bottle, so you want to make sure you get the mist ones and not the ones that actually like pew pew like shoot in a stream. Make sure you get the mist. It's more easily dispersible to your scalp and stuff and it just makes it so super easy. So this is a super quick process that I've been doing to keep my scalp really nice and clean. I just love the simplicity of this concoction. It's literally two ingredients and that's it. And it, it's just perfect, especially for somebody like me who has like a, a normal scalp. There are a lot of products out there for dry scalp, but I was worried that that was gonna push me over to the oily side and give me buildup. And there are also a lot of products out there for oily scalp, but I was nervous that that was gonna push me over to the dry side. So I just love how simple and easy and perfect, honestly, this concoction was. And I feel like for protective styles in general, the scalp is like, the most that you're gonna have to care for, right? So it's just really important that you get your little scalp routine in place and honestly, it's like life-changing when it comes to protective styling. So I do have two other products. They are serums for the scalp that I also wanted to talk about. Like I said, I have been avoiding just putting oils directly on the scalp. Instead, I have been using these amazing scalp serums. These are by Curlsmith and I'm gonna tell y'all why I love these. First of all, these are actually developed and engineered for daily use. Second of all, let me give you guys a quick look at that consistency. Do you see that? It's not oily at all, and that is what I love about these serums. So this one that I just showed you is called the Scalp Stimulating Booster. This is the one that I use in the mornings, and it's basically just giving your scalp nourishment, energy, and vitality basically feeding your scalp, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm cleaning it with my little witch hazel concoction, and then I'm going on in with this serum in the morning to just feed it and make sure it's happy and healthy. They also have another serum called the Full Length Density Elixir. This is for hair that looks thicker, denser, fuller, and healthier. Another serum also developed for daily use, and I've actually been using this every single night. So this in the morning, and this at night, and it's been so, so good. So this actually does have castor oil, cedar wood, lavender, it does have witch hazel in it. So this is also, again, feeding your curls, promoting hair growth, and making sure your scalp is gonna be nice and happy and healthy. Now, in terms of my hair, so you guys know I do have pretty long hair, I would say, my hair color actually shows all the way until about right here in the braid. So this is quite a bit of space, like, that my hair is still kind of susceptible to like the environment and like that kind of stuff, to dryness, you know what I mean? So what I've been doing to make sure that my hair still gets a little bit of moisture is actually using a leave-in conditioner spray just on the top parts of my braids where my natural hair is actually showing through. For this, you're gonna wanna use a leave-in conditioner that you really, really love the scent of. This is not only adding moisture to your hair, but it's also adding a really nice scent and a boost of freshness for your hair as well. I am obsessed with the smell of this, this is almost like, it feels a little bit like hair perfume. It is very, very scented. This is the Way Leave-In Conditioner Spray. It, mm, it smells amazing. And it will have you on a whole smelling amazing. I also did want to share some really nice hair accessories that have been beyond helpful as well for when I'm ready to get these braids out my face, okay? I do work out five times a week now. Very proud of myself, actually. Very, very proud of myself for finally developing a consistent workout routine, but that's besides the point. So this has been amazing. This is, do you all see how big this is? This is the size of my head, okay? This is a huge, massive, oversized scrunchie that I'm obsessed with. I received this in PR. Look at the stretch though. Look at the stretch. So I received this in PR from Pink Pewter and oh, it is amazing. So I literally just, zoop plop my hair up in the scrunchie like this, and then boom, nice, simple, and easy. I don't have to wrap it around 100 times to get it to hold. It stays just like this. So this is like perfect for me when I'm walking Hershey, 
when I am working out. I just, whatever I really just need my hair to like not be swinging everywhere and like in my face and stuff. I also sleep with this. I just pull my hair back and sleep like that as well. It's very comfortable to me and I sleep with a silk pillowcase and that's it. So 10 out of 10 recommend. And then I also actually use this to help pin up my hair when I'm going in the shower. And I've also been using this really nice satin cap. I can't remember where I got this one. It was probably from some random beauty supply store like ages ago. Um, but I will link something similar in the description box below if you guys want to check out something like this. So those have also definitely been majorly, majorly helpful. Now there's one more little part of my routine that I wanted to share and that is, can you guess it? Can you guess it? Ooh! Edges on fleek. So I wanted to let you guys know that this is the best edge control, hands down, known to man. Okay, this is really, really good. These edges are not going anywhere. I didn't use a lot. So this is the Kiss Edge Fixer Max Hold Edge Control. I love it. So this was their collab with Saweetie. There are different colors, different flavors or scents or whatever, but they're all the exact same. So, I mean, I 10 out of 10 recommend. This is, this is gonna snatch your edges. It is gonna snatch your edges. <laughs> Y'all know I don't normally like really slick slick my edges kind of like this when my hair is out because there's, I just don't. But um, for braids, I, I kind of like to do it every once in a while when I'm trying to like look a little bit more put together, a little bit more sleek or whatever, you know what I mean? I like to just do a little swirl swirl. And this has definitely been my go-to edge control. So with these products and accessories, it has honestly been making my little protective style journey a breeze. I'm loving it. Um, but I did also want to talk about like some pros and cons of protective styling because I know a lot of you guys are seeing me with braids and it's important to really think about the pros and cons before you actually proceed with doing it because it's not going to be right for every single person. Depends on your scalp, depends on your hair type, depends on the person you go to to get your braids done, okay? So let's talk about it. I will say probably one of the cons is that if you are new to protective styles, you're not used to it, it's going to take some time to get adjusted to it. Any way you put it, it's gonna take an adjustment period. So if you feel like you're somebody who is just a little impatient, you ain't got time for that, you're not willing to try, test out different things to come up with your own little protective style regimen that's gonna help you, you know, if you're just not into that, don't do it. Cause that's definitely, I guess, what you could call is one of the cons of protective styles. You're still, you still gotta commit to it and you still gotta make sure that you're gonna take the time to adjust to the style. With that being said, another con is that it can sometimes put a lot of pressure on your scalp, which is why I've placed such a huge emphasis in my regimen to make sure that I'm cleaning it and feeding it and making sure it's all good because these styles really do, they not only like kind of put a little bit more stress on your scalp, more stress than it's actually used to, but it also exposes the scalp. So when you're outside, the sun, the UV rays are beaming on that scalp. It's not used to that, honey. It's usually covered by hair and it's fine. So it's definitely another one of those cons. You gotta go into protective styling knowing that and knowing that you're gonna do what you can to ensure that your scalp is gonna have the best experience possible. If you do have a super sensitive scalp, for that reason, I don't know if protective styles are gonna be right for you. At least maybe not like box braids or like faux locks or anything like that. Maybe you can stick more towards like the feed-in braids and stuff because I feel like those don't really kind of like weigh down on your scalp as much. But you definitely have to massively consider the health of your scalp. Like can your scalp like really actually handle it? And are you willing to put in the work to make sure that your scalp is just gonna stay really nice and healthy? Another con is that this could potentially cause breakage in your hair which is kind of sad because it's like you're going to a protective style to like get a break from your hair but also to like protect your hair so to then end up with breakage after you were trying to protect your hair is like why did I even do this in the first place? You gotta just make sure that you're going to the right person. You wanna have a proper conversation with your hairstylist who's gonna do your braids. Let them know you want the edges out. Let them know that you don't want it to be tight. You wanna have these conversations and just make sure that you're going to the right person who actually cares about the health of your hair. It's also important to note that clearly by everything that I'm mentioning, you gotta know going into protective styling as well that there's still going to be some level of maintenance. It's not gonna be anything as taxing like nowhere near as long and taxing as a wash day for fully natural hair it's not gonna be like that but there is some level of maintenance and you still want to pay attention to your hair to some degree and your scalp 
your hair and scalp needs to be tended to to some degree. But those really are basically all of the cons that I could personally think of. There are a whole lot of pros when it comes to protective styling as well. The main one, my favorite, is just getting a break from doing my hair. I have not done a wash day in a week. It's been eight days, y'all, and I am so happy. It just honestly feels so good. It just feels so good. And just to know that my hair is just, it's, it's there. I'm gonna come back to it when I'm ready. I'm just on vacation for my hair right now. You know what I mean? So it just, it feels really, really good to have that break. And you know what's funny? Not only am I happy to have a break from my hair, my hair is probably happy to have a break from me, okay? Me specifically, I am constantly testing out new products, testing out new like wash day techniques and like I'm just always kind of experimenting with my hair and I think this is a really great time to just let my hair go on vacation for me, honestly. So we are on vacation from each other. We are both having a great, fabulous time. And when we reunite, it will be another great, fabulous time. <laughs> Protective styles are also a really great way to switch it up. I don't know if y'all noticed, but your girl has been feeling fly. I have been feeling so like, inspired I've been feeling excited I've been feeling real confident with these braids like it's just I don't know if it's the switch up just something different cuz I'm I'm a creature of habit I wear my wash and goes and maybe whoo maybe I might switch it up with a twist out oh that's as exciting as it gets around here for me so to do a protective style like this something that's like really really different something that makes me feel myself and feel so beautiful and kind of like just put together I wake up and go honey like that has been amazing for me as well so just having that self-confidence it's like a little boost of wow wow so bottom line do I think protective styles are for everybody absolutely not but do I think protective styles are also amazing and really cool and really fun and am I enjoying it so much right now absolutely <laughs> I'm loving it and you know what if you are in the Atlanta area or Decatur area if you're in Georgia just make the drive I'm gonna go ahead and tag Danny below who did do my braids I'm still just obsessed with them I'm also starting to think of like what other protective styles we can do because I'm hooked so yeah guys that is it that is how I'm maintaining my braids this is how I'm feeling about protective styling if you guys have any additional questions for me on protective styling please go ahead and comment them below let me know if you have other products that I need to be trying right now while I still got these braids in please also comment that below as well I'd love to see I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did if you made it here all the way to the end I think it is time I think it is time sis for you to hit that subscribe button Tap that thumbs up too while you're at it. <laughs> this way, we'll never have to miss each other again. All right? I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.